Hi guys, it's Crystal. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use your June mystery box that had all of the markers from Cricut. Um, what I'm going to show you how to do is how to create um, invitations using those. First thing I did was this pineapple here. I went and found one on the internet and um, put it here in the design space, which that's another video. And if you want me to show you how to do that, I can. There's a bunch of videos out there, but if you want me to show you how I did it, I can do that. Um, they do have pineapples in the design space. That's included with a Cricut Access, but um, I there wasn't anything that really matched what she was exactly looking for and this one kind of really matched it so I found this one so let's get started and I'm going to show you how we created this so let me go ahead and hide these in the background here and I'm going to hide that okay so the very first step that we're going to do is we are going to let's go ahead and insert our um, image that we downloaded and like I said if you want me to show you how to do that I can so we're going to grab our image here we're going to insert image so we have our pineapple and I'm going to go ahead and bring this down some since it is really big and move it over and then now we need um, a shape so we're going to go ahead and get we're going to need two squares so one two so let's okay so we're going to take our first square here but you're going to unlock this square here and I'm going to go ahead and change it to on the width here at the top and hopefully you guys can see this we're going to change it to 6.5 and then the height we are going to change it to 5 okay and then once we do that I'm going to lock it back and then we're going to come up here and we're going to do the same for this one so you're going to unlock it which is right here then you're going to come up here in this area here and you're going to on the width you're going to put 6.5 and five okay so now we have that one so we're going to go ahead and lock it back now we're going to go ahead and take this square down here and i'm going to go ahead and change both of these whites um let's see we're going to click over here on this side right here and we're going to change it white then we're going to also change this one to white that way it's easier to work with so the next step here is we're going to take our pineapple and now I need to arrange this to the front. We're going to slice. So I'm going to come up here to arrange, which is right here. And I'm going to move it forward. There we go. Okay, now the invitation, how she wanted it, this pineapple kind of came off the side here. So what we're going to do is just kind of stretch our pineapple a little bit so it comes more up at the top. So I'm going to bring it down here just a little bit. And you want to need, need to leave enough room for your invitation stuff. So let me maybe move that over just a little bit. And you want it all the way from the bottom to the top. So now we're going to slice it. What you're going to do is you're going to grab um, with your mouse here and you're going to select all of this. Okay. Then you're going to come down here and you're going to hit the slice button. Now it's sliced. So what we're going to get rid of, we're going to go ahead and get rid of this half a piece over here on the side. And then we're going to go ahead and get rid of this right here. So we're going to exit out of there. Now we still have these two pieces. I'm going to utilize both of these. Because what I had discovered when I made the card was usually to do vinyl, you're going to take your... Um, and then, now you may not choose such an intricate design as this one where it's going to be several little stickers with the vinyl, but um, when, normally we would take um, transfer tape and pick up our vinyl and put it, but when I was not thinking, I put it down on my paper. I had my transfer tape on here as you can see, but when I went to pull it off, of course, it's going to tear up your paper. So that did not work out. So. Uh, what I decided to do was go ahead and I this one right here we're going to use it to do the writing so we're going to go ahead and you could do this with any shape that you're going to do now if you had a bigger shape that's just one solid you wouldn't need to trace first so this is going to be a writing so I'm going to come over here to this spot so I'm going to get that leveled out just right from the bottom to the top because that's going to write on our card this is going to be our background of our card so we're going to come over here and we're going to right here we're going to change this to right and I'm going to go ahead and change it to gold because since I made my pineapple gold I use the um, the glitter pin 
and so that's a gel pen I use a glitter pen and it's going to trace all of this out right here and now I can see a little bit better I'm going to bring it down just a little bit more so that's going to write all of this out here and then whenever I go to make this one out of vinyl I can then set the stickers exactly in place since this would there would be no way to line this up correct the next step that we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create the word baby so um, I'm going to go ahead and open text here and I'm going to write out baby and I used um, Emmeline so we're going to come down here to Emmeline and what you can do is you can filter and go to writing and I'm going to come to let's see Emmeline here we go and that's in writing so I'm going to move this right up here and maybe bring it down just a little bit I'll know for sure once I get all my writing and I can adjust everything so I'm gonna go ahead and change this one because I wrote it with um, very very so I changed it to the red so that way whenever it does your pins and it tells you to change it'll know what color to do so the next thing we're gonna do is write out shower we're going to add text again, and I used Easton on this one. And you can use whatever text that you want, and these were all free. There was only one that I had to pay for, and I could have went back and changed it so it was something free, but um, I was just, I already had it done, and so I just went and paid for it. It was $4.99. It was no big deal, so now I own it. So on this, we're going to go ahead and come up here to line spacing, or not line spacing, letter spacing. So we're going to come to letter spacing, and I'm going to go ahead and bring this in just until it looks good. And right about there looks good to me. So then, oh, and actually, I'm not going to do that. Let me, that was actually supposed to be Easton. Okay, so either way, you want to bring it in so that way it kind of looks a little bit better. And I'm going to bring this up right about here. These two lines that were right here is we're going to take a square. So we're going to come over here and take another square. Okay, we're going to unlock it and we're going to change the width and the height. Um, on the one that is straight up and down, I changed it to 0 0.006 and I changed the height to 1, 1.306. Okay, so there's my line. So now I'm going to lock it back and I can bring it down here. Now here in a minute, I can go ahead and play with if I need to adjust the height. Oh, let me undo that. I can play with it here in a second and adjust the height. Now these are real tiny, so sometimes it's kind of harder to pick them back up. But Okay, so there's that. Now what I'm going to do to make the second line, just easy peasy, we're going to go ahead and just duplicate that one. And we're going to turn it sideways. So then I'm going, oop, I keep grabbing my square. Okay, we're going to go ahead and, like I said, they're kind of... So now I'm going to stick this one right about in here, and I'm going to stretch it out just a little bit. Maybe bring it in, maybe bring it in this way just a little bit more. And you just want to kind of eyeball it and see if it's lined up pretty good. I think I'm going to stretch this one down just a little bit more. And you can always just use your arrow up to kind of bring that up a little bit. Now if I need to level those out, I can do that here in just a minute. So there we go. So that at least we have something to work with right now. So let's go ahead and we're going to add in honor of right up here. So I think I do need to bring my baby down just a little bit and my shower and actually I'm going to that letter spacing I need to bring back out just a little bit something like that and we'll play with that here a little bit okay so now we're going to go ahead and create the in honor of and I did that in the all caps in honor 
of. And I did that one in everyday fonts. A is for Alice. So, let's see. There we go. Give it a second and it'll change. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and um, bring that down just a little bit. And I'm still gonna go ahead and So the square that we did, these lines right here, we need to go ahead and make sure that you change those to writing because those are going to write, not cut. So go back in there right here and change those to write. Okay, so um, on this one I did Elizabeth. Okay, and there we go. Now, um, I'm going to go in and I'm going to, we're going to go in up here and change the letter spacing to bring them in. So that way it's all like cursive here. That looks good to me. Maybe just one more time. Maybe too much, but let's see. There we go. And then we can always kind of drag it back out just a little bit. Okay. So we're going to move this right up here. So what I'm going to do is kind of move my stuff down just a little bit more. The text again. We're going to do July. And on July we did um, Allegra Sands. So we're going to change the writing to Allegra. This one didn't come up writing, but um, then I just come over here and change it to writing. So see how it's got the, you're going to have to fill in. And we're going to put it right up here. And like I said, I have no specific. I'm just trying to play, just playing around with it a little bit. And, um, you know, you can bring in like the letter spacing just a hair. And you can just play around with it till everything looks good to you. So we've got the July and do text again. We're going to do the 15th. Okay, and on this one I did Allura. I'm going to go ahead and change my letter spacing and bring it in just a little bit more. So that way those attach just a little bit. And we're going to bring this up here. We're going to do Saturday. And the what I did on that one is Alphalicious. What I'm going to do is bring that down a little bit. I'm going to turn it sideways. Make sure it looks good. Right here. Okay. Now I have a little bit more room right here. So obviously um, I'm going to have to shift some of this over just a bit. So let's... Go ahead and
So here's our card. And like I said, you can go in through and then you can kind of play with this a little bit. Like maybe you want to bring baby up just a little bit and bring it down here. And, you know, just play around with it just a little bit. Okay. So um, now we are ready to cut it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to double check everything. This needs to be where it's going to be cut because that is going to be a cut item. That's going to be on final. And we are going to go ahead and change that because that's going to be cut in gold. And uh, we're going to double check. So this needs to be make sure that's like writing. We need to make sure all these. So everything is set to writing. Everything's safe to go. This square right here is also going to be cut to the cut setting because this is going to you're going to if you use an 8 by 11 sheet of paper you can cut two cards at one time so we're going to, we are all ready to go so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and attach this so we're going to attach it so it all stays in place and then this one we're going to hide it so that way we can go ahead and cut our cards so now we're ready to cut this so we can go ahead and duplicate so we can cut two cards at one time and you don't even have to move these on this mat. You're just ready to go because it's going to adjust them on the mat. So you're going to hit make it. You can see they just both align themselves on the, the paper here. And um, it'll perfectly just cut the two cards out. So you're going to set your settings over here to 8.5 by 11. So that way you're just only wasting this much paper. And that's what I would do. And like I said, I use the Hobby Lobby brand. So then you're going to purchase, if you purchase that $4.99, um, you're going to hit purchase. And then, um, so I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here because I've already done that. And that'll be in the video here. Go ahead and hide this one now. So then I'm going to come back and find my pineapple here. And I'm going to unhide it. So I can cut eight of these on a 12 by 12. I can cut eight at a time. So what I'm going to do is duplicate eight times. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And like I said, don't worry about adjusting them here. Just go to make it and it will adjust them on its own.
Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I created the envelope. So the envelope is a 5 by 7 So this is what it's going to look like here. So let me go ahead and let me attach this and hide it. And I'm going to hide it so I can show you. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start out with is a, with a shape. So this is going to be the size of our envelope. Now this one's going to be different because we're just using this as a, like a canvas. So we're going to take our square. I'm going to go ahead and change it white. Don't worry about the cutting or anything because we're going to delete this. So you're going to go ahead and unlock it and we're going to do seven wide and five high. Okay. And so we're going to go ahead and lock it back. Now this is our canvas. So this is our envelope size. So then we're going to go ahead and take our text and we're going to go one, two, three. This is going to be for the address up here, Almo Lane. And we're going to put, um, let's see, Las Vegas. Um, Nevada. And we're going to do one, two, three, four on the eights, five on the eights. Okay. So then we're going to, so this is like our mailing address. And you can change this to whatever. I'm not going to really, so I can keep the video short. Um, I think the line spacing looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and pop it up here. And you can shorten it just a little bit. Okay. So there's our from address. Then we're going to go ahead. Um, I'm going to do the other address. And let's say one, two, three, four. Oh, hold on. Let me do the name first. Let's see. So we're going to be sending this to Mickey Mouse. I'm going to send this one to Mickey Mouse. And we're going to do one, two, three, four. Elmo Lane. Okay, and we'll do Las Vegas. Nevada. Okay, so there's our. Now I'm going to go ahead and adjust the line spacing on this one just a little bit. So we just come up here to line spacing and we're going to bring it in just a little bit. And that looks good enough to me. Like I said, you can change this to whatever font you want. Um, I'm just do, keeping the video, trying to keep it short because I know it's going to be a little long. Okay, so here is our. Oops, let me undo that. Okay, there's our two address. Now I'm going to go ahead and make sure those are both writing. So the that is set to writing and that is set to writing. So everything's set to writing. Now I'm going to go in for my pineapple down here at the bottom and I'm going to add up one of my uploads. We're going to add the same pineapple. Insert. Now this one, we're going to go ahead and bring that size way down. A little bit more. And that probably looks pretty good. Then I'm going to come up here and change it to writing because we're going to write on that. And I use the glitter gel pen in gold. So that's going to be where everything's being written. So everything's ready to go. So now we can take and we're going to take the envelope and we're going to go ahead. And now if you're going to be doing multiple of them, you can just, you can hide it if you want to or delete it. So we're going to go ahead and hide that in the background. Okay, before we attach this, we're going to go in this one because we, we want this one to be the gold glitter. So we're going to change the color to the gold glitter tip. And these both are going to be black. So now we're going to attach it. And we are going, we are ready to make it. So when you come over here, um, you can just leave it as the 12 by 12 sheet because they don't have the option for the um, 5 by 7, which is fine. Um, so I just put my envelope all the way right here in the corner. And you could do two at, two at a time and do another address and then bring it down here and just put your envelope right in that corner so you can knock out two at a time. Next thing, you're just going to hit continue and it's going to all print out.
guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Um, we'll see you on the next one.